Is it feasible that our world is just a computer simulation? For decades, scientists and philosophers have debated the possibility that everything we experience and perceive is an illusion created by a higher entity. From films like The Matrix to prominent scientist theories, such as the holographic universe theory offered by theoretical physicist Juan Maldacena in 1997. The thought that we are living in a virtual reality is both exciting and disturbing. In this video, we will look at the concept of simulations as well as the scientific data that has been offered to confirm whether or not we are in a simulation. Prepare to examine everything you thought you knew about reality and delve into one of science's most intriguing hypotheses. For ages, philosophers and scientists have been fascinated by the idea that we live in a simulation. René Descartes was one of the first philosophers to investigate this concept. In his work Metaphysical Meditations, he argued that our universe is an illusion manufactured by a devil who deceives us. Although this concept is comparable to the simulation hypothesis, both suggest that our reality may not be what it appears to be. The simulation hypothesis, as we know it today, was popularized by philosopher Nick Bostrom in his 2003 essay, Are We Living in a Computer Simulation? According to Bostrom, an evolved civilization may be able to develop a simulation so complex that the beings within it feel they are living in reality. Indeed, according to Bostrom, we are more likely to be living in a simulation than in reality. Bostrom's argument is based on three assumptions. The first is that an evolved civilization can build a simulation so advanced that the beings within believe they are living in reality. The second is that an advanced civilization can create a simulation so advanced that the beings inside believe they are living in reality. The second premise is that evolved civilizations will most likely do so. The final assumption is that if an intelligent society produced a simulation, we are most likely one of the simulations. Although the notion that we live in a simulation may appear far-fetched, it has recently been contested among scientists and philosophers. Some believe that the theory is fascinating and could be a method to explain some of the universe's riddles, while others say that it is a bogus idea with no evidence to back it up. However, the concept remains intriguing and is still being debated in the scientific world. How can we tell if we're in a simulation or not? When considering the simulation hypothesis, one of the most intriguing concerns is how to assess whether or not we live in a simulation. Although there is no definitive answer to this topic, some scientists and philosophers have proposed numerous methods for determining whether our universe is genuine or a simulation. One of the most frequent methods for testing the simulation hypothesis has been to look for limitations in the cosmos. If we live in a simulation, for example, the simulation may contain constraints that do not exist in reality. If we can identify these constraints, we can conclude that we are living in a simulation. Another method for verifying the simulation hypothesis has been proposed, looking for patterns in reality. If we are living in a simulation, reality may consist of recurring patterns that do not exist spontaneously. If we can detect these patterns, we might conclude that we exist in a simulation. It has also been suggested that monitoring the speed of light could reveal whether or not we are in a simulation. The speed of light may be intentionally limited if we live in a simulation. If we can measure this constraint, we can conclude that we exist in a simulation. Furthermore, some scientists have claimed that errors could imply that we are in a simulation. If we are living in a simulation, the creators may introduce programming faults into our reality. Despite these potential approaches of testing the simulation hypothesis, obtaining a clear and conclusive answer remains difficult. Many scientists and philosophers argue that finding patterns or constraints in reality does not always imply that we are in a simulation because they could have a natural explanation. Furthermore, the simulation's authors may have made the simulation so advanced that we cannot notice any limitations or patterns that suggest we are in a simulation. 
That is to say, there are certain approaches we may take to test the simulation hypothesis, but this remains a difficult question to answer. Although we cannot completely ignore the possibility that we are living in a simulation, most scientists and philosophers believe that it is unlikely to be correct and that our world is objective. Experiments to discover the truth, although it may seem odd or entirely absurd to most people to believe that we live in a simulation, several scientists have offered experiments that can assist us determine whether or not the universe we live in is a simulation. Most of these experiments were not designed to demonstrate if we are in a simulation, but they have served us well over time. Examples of these experiments are 1. Double Slit Experiment the double-slit experiment is a well-known quantum physics experiment that has been proposed to establish whether we are in a simulation. A beam of particles, such as electrons or photons, is blasted toward a screen with two slits in the double-slit experiment. A detector is put behind the screen to measure the movement of the particles. Surprisingly, if no device is used to observe the experiment, the particles act like waves and diffuse through both slits, resulting in an interference pattern on the screen. However, assume the experiment is witnessed with a measuring device. In this example, the particles act like particles and only travel through one of the two slits, resulting in two distinct bands on the screen. That is, simply watching the experiment influences the outcome. Some scientists and philosophers believe that this experiment could establish that we live in a simulation. If we were living in a simulation, the designers could have programmed the universe so that particles behaved like waves without being observed directly. In other words, the experiment's observation could be the product of the simulation rather than a reflection of reality. What are your thoughts? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Some scientists and philosophers contend that the interpretation of this experiment is erroneous. Quantum physics provides an alternate explanation for the experiment. Quantum interference causes particles to behave like waves. The particles interweave as they pass through the two slots, creating an interference pattern on the screen behind the plate. According to this quantum theory, the experiment is not definitive proof of the simulation. Although the double-slit experiment was not designed to determine whether we are in a simulation, its interpretation is contentious. The closeness between the quantum physics interpretation and the simulation hypothesis is seen by some scientists and philosophers as proof of simulation. Others, on the other hand, claim that the quantum interpretation is adequate to explain the experiment. Finally, the interpretation of the experiment is a matter of controversy in physics and philosophy with no definitive answer yet. 2. Experiment with Evolution Simulation The Evolution Simulation Experiment, or Vita, was carried out at the University of Michigan to mimic evolution on a tiny scale. The project is based on a software model that employs Avita digital creatures that reproduce and evolve through genetic mutations and natural selection. This experiment has been used to support the theory that our universe is a simulation. This idea is based on the premise that if we can model the evolution of digital species, why can't some higher being build our reality as a simulation? This interpretation of the Avita experiment, however, has significant limits and critiques. To begin, simulating evolution using a software model differs greatly from simulating the entire cosmos. Furthermore, while we may model evolution using a computer program, we are skeptical that a computer program can build a simulation as complicated as our cosmos. Even if we believe that our universe is a simulation, we cannot rule out the idea that this simulation has its own physical rules and evolutionary processes. In other words, just because we are in a simulation does not indicate that the outcomes of the Avita experiment apply to our simulated reality. Although the simulation of evolution experiment has been used as evidence that our universe is a simulation, this interpretation is debatable. It has not yet been confirmed by testing or evidence. 3. Experiment with Detecting Faults in Physical Laws 
The physics law error detection experiment is based on the premise that if we live in a simulation, the physics laws that govern the simulated universe may be imperfect and contain mistakes or patterns that can be identified. The theory behind this experiment is that if scientists can discover an imperfection in a known law of physics, it could be evidence that the universe we live in is a simulation because there should be no flaws in the laws of physics in a perfect simulation. There could also be patterns in physics rules that serve as programming signals in the simulation. However, because it has not been carried out in fact, this experiment is more theoretical than the others discussed. Nonetheless, some theoretical physics specialists have recommended looking for possible mistakes or patterns in physical rules. For example, if an inconsistency is discovered in the law of gravity, which is one of the fundamental laws of the universe, it could indicate that we are in a simulation. There is also a plan to look for recurring patterns in physics rules. This could imply that the simulation employs an underlying mathematical structure, a typical programming style. In short, the physics law error detection experiment is an intriguing concept that advocates looking for faults or patterns in physical laws as proof that we are in a simulation. Although it has not yet been implemented in practice, it is a fascinating theoretical approach that could yield fresh insights into the true nature of the universe in which we live. The possibility that the cosmos we live in is a simulation is an intriguing subject that scientists and philosophers have been debating for decades. Although no definitive explanation has been found, prior tests and proposed ideas have helped to enhance our understanding of the nature of the universe and how it functions. It is critical to remember that, whether the cosmos is a simulation or not, we are still aware creatures who are experiencing the reality we are in. The fact that we are part of a simulation should not minimize the significance of our existence and life. Exploration of this hypothesis may also have broader ramifications for our knowledge of the universe, technology, and artificial intelligence. How can we be sure we're not in a simulation if we can construct accurate simulations of our technologies? Finally, the prospect of living in a simulation reminds us that there is still much to learn and discover about the cosmos and our basic existence. Our curiosity and desire to know the truth are the forces that push us as humans to continue exploring and discovering the world around us. Whether or not the cosmos is a simulation, the quest for knowledge will always be critical to our evolution as a species. What are your thoughts? Do you believe we're in a simulation? Let us know what you think in the comments section of this video.